Hey guys, Clev here, and today I'm going to be teaching you the basic fundamentals of how the IRST works and how to employ it in the MiG-29A. The MiG-29A is equipped with the OEPS-29 IRST Infrared Search Track System. The IRST itself can provide its own ranging without use of the radar by a laser range finder. The laser range finder has a limit of 6.5 kilometers. However, the IRST can track targets out to about 15 kilometers. Let's begin with getting you introduced and how to access the system. To begin using the IRST, switch the WCS knob to IR. Upon switching your WCS mode to IR, the left side of your HUD will show IR. You'll have your TDC box displayed up on the HUD and you can maneuver it around with the TDC slave control. You can adjust your IR gain with this knob and there's no downside to just lowering it all the way to clear your HUD of some of that feedback. If you do adjust your gain, however, expect to see PJ below IR on the left side of your HUD. You can adjust scan azimuth with the zone switch to either left, center, or right. This will be repeated on your HUD, showing you the direction your radar is searching. Now for a demonstration. Let's get a lock on this target ahead of us. I'm going to switch WCS mode to IR. I'm going to lower the gain to get rid of feedback on the HUD. Our target seems to be this single dot on the HUD. We can slew our TDC over it and hold the NWS slash lock button to acquire a lock. At any point, we can break this lock with the break lock key. The IRST will automatically acquire ranging at 6.5 kilometers by a laser. Let's reacquire our target. God seems to disappear as I pull NWS slash lock, but we have a lock again. Well, let's continue to close until we get ranging information. There we are. Now those flares broke the lock, but we did get a ranging solution. The aircraft also features a close combat WCS mode that uses the IRST as its primary sensor. To engage this mode, simply switch your WCS switch to CC. Your HUD will change to a vertical scan mode. By holding the NWS slash lock key, I was able to acquire a lock. Aside from the laser, the aircraft can also utilize the IRST alongside the radar with co-op mode. The specifics of co-op mode vary by combination of the radar illumination slash dummy switch and the co-op switch. With the co-op switch set active and the radar illumination switch in the dummy position, the aircraft will acquire radar ranging on targets locked with the IRST. You can convert this to a single target track lock by pressing NWS slash lock again. When tracking a target in radar mode, the IRST will continue to track targets in co-op mode. However, if the radar lock is broken, the IRST will go ahead and guide the radar back onto the target, creating an unnoshable lock. The use of the co-op switch allows you to fire R27R and ER semi-active radar guided missiles in IR modes. Do keep in mind, however, that the IRST does not provide IFF. The IRST can also be used in combination with the pilot's HMD. However, we'll cover that in a different video. Take a look at the following image overlaid on your screen, graciously provided by Aerogloria slash R27ET from Reddit. The left column shows the currently locked WCS mode and all other configurations of the dummy slash illumination switch and co-op switch are shown to the right. Pause your screen and I guess take a screenshot. Now that is not every function of the IRST. However, that's all we'll cover for this short introductory video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if I've helped you out.
Lev, out.